Monday, the 19th of August 2019. Welcome to your local news for today. In the news, State Oil Company, Stats Oli, made a gross revenue of 560 million US dollars in 2018. District of Para, ready for the coming vacation bustle. Youth Congress held last Saturday. And government reached agreement with fisheries sector. Stats only posted a gross revenue of 560 million US dollar over 2018, while a tax profit of 149 US dollars has been paid to the state. Ridolf Elias, director of Stats Oli, presented the operating activities carried out in 2018. These positive results have been achieved by the company's strategy to keep cost in its production activities as low as possible. Elias also indicated that Stats Oli is listed as the best oil producer in the region. The aim for the coming years is to produce 6 million barrels. In the deep sea area, the company is engaged with international partners to continue all exploration activities. Elias remains optimistic that oil will be found in the off coast in Suriname. The district administration of Para is prepared for the upcoming vacation bustle, so says District Commissioner Armand Jurel. According to the District Commissioner, safety is central to the district as they are working hard on it. There has been good consultation between the Commissioner's office and various actors, including the police and the National Army. Regarding the water safety during this vacation period, the use of pleasure crafts are closely monitored. The district commissioner says that agreements on this have already been made with the Maritime Authority Suriname and the Maritime Police. Education is a lifelong process. This is one of the points raised last Saturday by Minister Ildis Polak Bigli of Foreign Affairs during the Youth Congress in the ballroom of Royal Torarica. This Youth Congress was held in connection with the International Youth Day on August 12th. During the Congress, youth representatives from various organizations have discussed the various adjustments that should be introduced into education. Education should be accessible to everyone and is also the main factor to tackle poverty. Minister Polak Bigli indicated that we as a country can go much further if we have an educated population. Often enough, young people are insufficient involved in decision-making activities according to the minister. Instead of breaking them down, they can be used for finding solutions. According to her, young people should also be given room to make decisions. After a series of discussions, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries reached an agreement on Friday the 16th of August with stakeholders within the fisheries sector. This is also seen as part of the organization of this sector. The maximum number of fishing licenses for the different categories was discussed and the concept permit conditions for the 2020 service year was adopted. The minister has also announced the permits to the sector. Research has shown that too many fishing licenses have been issued by the ministry and therefore it is a major challenge to bring order in the sector together with the industry. The stakeholder presents were Suriname Natural Fisher Folk Organization, SONFO, the Umbrella Fishermen's Organization for Artisanal Fishing, Suriname Seafood Association, SSA, Fisher's Collective Kamawaina, Fisher's Collective Coroni, the Maritime Authority Suriname, MAS, and the Coast Guard Suriname. 
regarding the Coroni district that should make the switch from the category Inland Navigation License B fee to the SK category, the minister called on fishermen's organizations in good consultations to come to a solution in which subcategory this group of fishermen will be accommodated. He hopes to receive the decision on this in the second week of September. The minister indicated that he would act hard if fishermen do not comply with the applicable permit conditions. Withdrawal from their license is not excluded, says Minister Parmesar. Thank you for joining us during this Monday edition of your local news for today. Have a great day and remember to always be yourself and stay positive.